What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, back for another video. Now as you know, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy will be releasing in June of this year, and the developers at Activision said they looked at reviews and feedbacks of the original trilogy to find out what they could improve on. They've already fixed the pause menu, the way you can save your game in Crash Bandicoot 1, and they added time trials to Crash 1 and 2 when originally they were only in Crash Bandicoot Warped. So I thought I could give my 5 suggestions to what they could add to the game. And no, I'm not gonna say Crash Team Racing DLC. I mean, sure, these guys can do amazing work in just a couple of months, but I mean, that's a whole new game, come on. Idea number one. Now, while they may not be able to do Crash Team Racing DLC, there still is a way they can add multiplayer. This could be both online and local, it's a race mode. Now, normally in Crash Bandicoot, you're trying to get all the boxes, so you're wandering around the levels looking for every last wooden crate. But it'd be fun to face your friends and dash through the level as fast as you can and beat them to the end. With Crash's hallway-like level design, you could do a split screen with a vertical line straight down the middle. You and your friend can run across the level while being displayed on each other's screens as semi-transparent models so you can't interfere with each other, you'll just go right through. It'll be pretty fun to see who can make it to the end first. Now, there are some levels this would be difficult to implement, like the chasing levels or the levels where you're riding Polar or Pura. But just imagine how fun it'd be on every other stage, especially ones with falling platforms. While you may not be able to spin your friends, you can totally troll them by activating the falling platform so they'll have to wait for it to regenerate while you can get way ahead. And when it comes to the online mode, you could have more people racing at the same time. Now, of course, the whole falling platform trolling thing would be pretty troublesome if you had more than two players. But they could always make it so only you can activate the falling platforms on your own screen. Similar to how in Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo 3DS, when you eat a power pellet on Pac-Man, stage, it only turns the ghosts blue and vulnerable to you while staying completely normal on everyone else's screens. As you can tell, I've thought this multiplayer mode through, so please consider it. Idea number two is bonus levels. The employees at Activision are rebuilding all three games completely from the ground up, and they've claimed that in preparation for this, they've played all three of the original trilogy so much that they've broken controllers. So with all that in mind, hopefully they've learned a lot about Crash. It'd honestly be really cool to see what kind of levels or even bosses they could come up with. Who knows, they might even come up with new environments that haven't even been used in the original trilogy. They wouldn't be restricted to the island theme of Crash 1, the around the world theme of Crash 2, or the through time theme of Crash 3. They could literally do whatever they want to with these bonus levels, like even put Crash in a world made of candy. That'd be pretty sweet. And before you ask, no, I did not intend to make that a pun. Ooh, and when it comes to bosses, they don't even have to use existing characters. They could come up with their own enemies. Overall, I think letting Activision have their own creative freedom on the side to this project would be really awesome. So Activision, get original! Idea number three is a boss rush mode. When it comes to the Crash Bandicoot trilogy, there's not a lot to do besides playing the main game, so there's not many opportunities to come up with lots of creative trophies. Like, okay, trophy unlocked, you beat Crash 1, you beat Crash 2, you beat Crash 3, you got all the gems, you got all the relics. What then? I think just adding extra challenges and modes would add a lot more to the game in terms of replay value and rewards. You could unlock a boss rush after beating each game, like the Crash 1 boss rush, Crash 2 boss rush, Crash 3 boss rush. That's really hard to say fast. These boss rush modes would allow you to marathon every single boss in each game while having a limited number of lives. And once you defeat all three boss rush modes, you could unlock an ultimate triple trouble challenge mode, where with a single life, you take on all the bosses of Crash 1, 2, and 3 in a row in a single run. Now that'll be a trophy worth earning. Idea number four is a bit ambitious, but eh, you could try. What if, stay with me here, there was a Crash Bandicoot, still with me, Level Maker. Hey, come on, it's a great idea. Ever since Super Mario Maker was revealed years ago, I said to myself, there needs to be a Crash Bandicoot version of this. Sure, it may be in 3D instead of 2D like Super Mario Maker, but the hallway-like level designs would make it perfect for this kind of level editor. You could share and download them online, and it would add even more to that multiplayer mode I mentioned earlier. Heck, post-launch, the developers themselves can make their own levels and put them online for the races. Kind of like what Grand Theft Auto V does with their track editor. There's so many ideas they could do to make the game last for a very long time and have a very large community. Overall, with all these ideas, I don't want Activision to show us the game and go, do you remember this? I want them to show us the game and go, will you remember this? They can't just bring Crash back, they've gotta bring him back in style. Idea number five is a good completion bonus. Now the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy will be bringing in a lot of new fans, but what about all the old guys that come back to 100%, 125%, 200% complete these games? One thing I found very appealing about Crash Bandicoot Warped is that you could go back to previous levels with the power-ups you've unlocked. You could totally screw with Dingo Dial when you have the double jump or Entropy once you have the tornado spin. I mean, you've already beaten the levels on your own fair and square, what's the harm in allowing you to mess around with the power-ups in previous stages? 
What if once you complete all three games, like completely complete, like absolutely complete, the most complete you can ever complete it, what if once you do that, you can take the power-ups from the third game and use them to mess around in the levels from the first and second one? Or maybe by performing this incredible feat, you could just mess around with the entire game in general, like spawn Polar in levels where you're not supposed to ride Polar, or play Coco in levels where you're not supposed to play Coco. Like imagine getting away from the Triceratops in Crash Bandicoot Warped by riding that hog from Hog Wild in Crash 1. Or you could play as Coco and ride Pura through the motorcycle levels in Crash Warped. Overall, I think it'd be a great idea to give the diehard fans an outrage hilarious reward for completing the game that much. So those are my five ideas for the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. A couple of them are pretty out there, but who knows, Activision can do things. So if you're watching Activision from a lifelong Crash Bandicoot fan, thank you for making these. Wink.